The Great American Eclipse of 2017 is just three days away. As we get closer to the eclipse, there are a couple of things you need to know. The sun's rays are blinding, even during an eclipse. It's just more tempting to look at during an eclipse because it's so cool, but don't do it. Because the same uh, radiation that is coming out of the sun when it is not being blocked is also coming out of the sun when it is being blocked. So looking at the sun, whether it's uh, you know, 80, 90, or 50% blocked, uh, will still cause damage to your retina. Dr. Novato says it may take days, weeks, or even months for the damage to occur, but once it does, it's permanent. Your best bet, use glasses like these, available at stores across the valley. Now here's a list of manufacturers whose glasses have been approved for solar viewing. Look for these on your glasses, and you'll find this entire list on our website, krgv.com. Another way to safely view the eclipse is to pick up a piece of number 14 welder's glass at a hardware store. It'll give you an incredible view. Look at what you can see. Now another simple and inexpensive way to watch the eclipse indirectly is using a couple of pieces of paper. Simply start with a piece of paper like this and poke a hole in it. Once you've got that hole in it, then you just simply project that hole onto a piece of paper on the ground and you'll see that hole and that's where the eclipse will appear. Oh, and one more thing about safety. Scientifically, there's no truth about any sort of harm that can come to a baby during an eclipse. This old wives' tale goes way back. It actually started uh, with the Aztecs. Uh, the Aztecs felt that during an eclipse, a part of the sun or the moon was, was bitten out and that the same thing could happen to a baby. And so the, uh, the mothers back then wore something over their tummies to protect the babies from having something bitten out. Uh, the big concern that most people have about an eclipse is that the baby will have a cleft lip or a cleft palate. Dr. Wilson, who will be traveling with Channel 5 News to Missouri for the eclipse next week, has this advice for pregnant women. She should enjoy the eclipse, but it's not going to hurt for her to wear a safety pin or a key. <laughs> not going to hurt anything to wear one. may not help anything either. Don't forget, for that list of certified manufacturers for the eclipse glasses, click on the Find a Link tab on our website. A reminder also, we're going to be doing Facebook Live reports all weekend long, starting tomorrow morning as we head to Missouri. And, of course, live coverage on our newscast all weekend long and all day Monday as well.